All right, guys, Mr. Schmidt here. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys you did a great job yesterday on our adaptations, our physical adaptations. Um, a physical adaptation is anything that the animal is born with, okay? So, for example, here, um, a lot of you talked about this, if it scrolls down anytime soon, this Articare right here. It's born with the small ears and thick fur, while this jackrabbit has very, very long ears. Okay, so a physical adaptation is something they're born with. Giraffes, they have those long necks, they have those long legs. These ostriches, they have these nice legs, they're able to run very fast. Okay? Then we also talked about um, plants having physical things too. We have plants right here where they have their thorns, okay? Some plants have thorns, predators don't want to eat that. Owls have, it blends in with the surrounding right there, that's called camouflage, okay? So we have some camouflage, we have mimicry. Um, we did that before, we called mimicry right here. When one animal makes itself look like another that does not want to be eaten, all right? This hoverfly, very safe, right? Very safe. But it makes it look like a wasp. And do we want to go around messing with wasps? No, they're going to sting us, okay? But today, we're going to learn about behavioral adaptations right here. Okay, so it's something that an animal does, okay? Maybe it's not born knowing how to do it, but it learns it, okay? So, on your best behavior. The way living things, the way living things act is called behavior. Some behaviors are adaptations that help animals survive. Okay, so we'll start right down here. Some things that animals do seem to come naturally. Babies do not have to be taught how to cry. Spiders are not taught how to spin webs. Behaviors that animals know how to do without being taught are called instincts. Animals have to learn other types of behaviors. For example, a lion cub is not born knowing how to hunt. It learns to hunt by watching its mother. Raccoons learn to wash their food by watching other raccoons. It's kind of like people, right? We don't know how to do things unless we have, to, unless we grow up and watch our parents, our uncles, aunts, grandparents do it. Okay. So here's an octopus right here. What do you think that is? We'll find out. Many people have behaviors that help protect them from predators. Many animals, I should say. When an octopus is frightened, it releases ink into the water. If the octopus is being attacked, the animal attacking will not be able to see it, and the octopus can escape. Okay, so that's something that the octopus is born with. All right, <clears throat> it's a behavior that they're able to do. The computer's dying. Some bats here are nocturnal. This means that they are active at night and sleep during the day. This allows bats to hunt insects that are active only at night. All right, so we know bats, they're only alive, they're only not alive, but they're only awake during the night. Okay. Now, here's something that we know too. Okay, my computer's a little slow today. All right? We talk about animals moving to different locations. Okay? I'm not going to read all of this right here. Okay? But some animals have to move to different locations because it's very cold. For example, in New York right now, it is very, very cold. Okay? It was even colder in January, February, December. Okay? Those birds have to fly somewhere where it's warmer. That right there is called migration. Okay? That is a behavior, it's something that they do, okay? It's not something part, it's not part of the body, it's something that they do. Other animals, like squirrels and bears, they hibernate, okay? It's a long period of inactivity. Inactivity is kind of like sleeping, okay? It's not the same as sleeping, though. If you look right here, when an animal hibernates, its body processes slow down and stays inactive for months, okay? So like bears, we talk about bears, we talk about squirrels. They get all their food that they need. They hide away in a little in their shelter and they they don't do anything for months because it's too cold okay the way that animals act toward other animals the same type of is social behavior honeybees have very complex social behavior they communicate using movements called a waggle dance a bee that finds food will return to the hive and do the waggle dance something like a celebration all right if you ever watch some football they get in the end zone they do a little celebration that's what they're doing here the pattern of the dance gives other bees a lot of information the dance communicates which direction to go, how far away the food is, how much food there is, and even what kind of food there is. All right? So that is all the types of behavioral adaptations that we need to know right now. Okay? We know that birds have to migrate. All right? They have to go south right here. Snow geese, they migrate south in autumn and north in spring. If it gets too hot, they want to go to cooler weather. If it gets too cold, they want to go to hotter weather. Okay? We learned that bats right here. Bats are nocturnal, meaning they're only awake during the night. They're able to prey at nighttime. 
Okay, they're able to attack at nighttime. Then we've got octopus right here. Well, if they're afraid, if they get scared, they squirt ink at their predator. Okay? So, behavioral adaptations is something that an animal is able to do. Okay? So, for us, something that, what do we do that helps us survive? Okay? What does an animal do that helps us survive? Not part of their body, but what are they able to actually do? Okay? So, when we talk about drifts, if I talk about their long neck, that's a part of their body. That's a physical adaptation. But if I talk about octopus and how they squirt something, they squirt ink from their body, that is a behavior. It's something that they're able to do. Okay, so what you're going to do right now is you're going to answer this one question assignment, a little assessment. And the question is, what is one thing that a bear can do behaviorally to help adapt to its environment? So what behavioral adaptation does a bear have that allows it to live? Okay, good luck.